Hello all, welcome to another video of Components 101. In this video, I'll show you how we can use the popular 4-bit adder IC which is the CD4008. So this is the data sheet of the IC. Let's take a look at its pinout. We have its pinout here. So as you can see, let me move this aside. As you can see, there are four different full adders in it each has an input a and b and it also can take c1 which is a carry bit as an input so as you can see a1 b1 s1 a2 b2 s2 a3 b3 s3 and a4 b4 s4 they all form four individual adder circuits and uh, this c1 acts as a carry bit and this co acts as a carry out so c1 is carry in and c o is carry out so now let's check how this ic works by looking at its simulation let's get into the simulation part so here we have the ic with the simulation option this one is input A. As you can see, I have clubbed all the uh, A pins as input A and B pins as input B, but it is not how it should be done. I'm doing it to explain you stuff, but um, let us remove these for now. Okay, let's make everything zero and run the simulation. So according to the logic diagram or the truth table, if both are zero the sum will be zero if one is high sum will go high if both inputs are high it will go zero so if either one of the input is high the output will go high and if both are one it will go zero with a carry bit enabled so this carry bit has to be given to the second stage totally there are four stages in this ic as i told you so it will be given to the second stage of the uh, adder circuit so we have a1 as the first stage so a2 will be the second stage so you can use all the four stages and when you're out of all the four stages this co which is carry out and this ci which is carry in can be used to cascade it with other pins say for example uh, let's let's assume that we are using all the four stages of this ic in that case you have to it will be something like this So it will be something like this so all the four stages will be used in that case let's make everything zero and we will get a look at the truth table which is given in the data sheet so this is the truth table so as you can see if all the inputs are zero which is a b and carry in is zero the carry out and the sum which is the output will both be zero and if either one if either one of the input is high as i showed you as long as the carry bit is zero as long as the carry in bit is zero it will follow the normal uh, truth table for a sum once the carry in is made high you can see how the truth table differs so we'll go ahead and verify this truth table in a simulation over here so let's make the carry bit high and as you can see since the carry in is high the sum has already become high like 001 and as we saw in the truth table 001 will make the carry out as zero but the sum is high just like the way it's happening in the simulation then we can proceed and play around with other values to see how it works so this is how the ic works the reason why there is a carry out pin is it can be cascaded with other ic so even after using these four stages you can use the fifth stage on another 4008 ic using this carry out pin so that's it guys hope you understood how to use this ic thanks for watching